I would like to give you an overview on, on, on two uh, other initiatives that we are conducting um, at, op uh, at Open Wallet Foundation. The first one is the Credential Profile Comparison Special Interest Group. So um, we have two, two mechanisms at OWF to, to have long-standing or uh, short-term activities to investigate uh, in, in certain topics. And the Credential Profile Comparison uh, Special Interest Group, as the name suggests, tries to compare different credential profiles. Which does that, what does that mean? Out there in the wild are a lot of different ways you can represent credentials. We have heard about those in, in, in the presentation. Um, the, wallet, the wallet worker uh, uses Anon creds. Um, the ping, ping uses JOTS and SD JOTS. Mossip uh, favors uh, JSON-LD. We have heard about MDoc in the presentation of, of, of David and so on. But there is much more than that. And this activity goes back to, I can't remember exactly which IRW, but it, it's about two years ago, and I called a session. For those of the, 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 you are, that are not familiar with IRW, it's an unconference. So anyone can call a session. And I asked one single question, what's the best credential format? And we ended up in a room packed with, I don't know, 20, 30 people. And anyone wanted to sell his or her credential format to me. It was amazing, really amazing. And um, that turned into a huge uh, sheet, Google sheet, with um, the different uh, formats and, and, and all that stuff. And then we proposed or brought that activity to the OWF because we believe that OWF is, is, is the best home for it, as it is technology agnostic. Let me put it that way, right? Anyone can bring any project implementing any kind of technology to OWF, and we believe that the credential profile comparison special interest group will help implementers to figure out what's the best solution, what's the best fit for their, for their problem. The problem is that for different use cases and different requirements, there might be a different solution. And the different capabilities of the different uh, credential profiles previously were intransparent. So it was impossible to really compare them. And that's, that's why we are trying to do in the special interest group. It's, it's, um, it's uh, led by Mirko Molek, and I've got the pleasure to, to support him as, as a co-chair in that group. And what we, what we realized is that, in the end, that, that space is a multidimensional space. So we've got representations like Seabor, JSON, whatsoever. We've got different signature algorithms. Um, sometimes there is a relationship. For example, for Anoncrats, there's only CL signatures. For JOTS, you can use nearly any kind of signature that is, that is available, even HMAX. And credentials have a life cycle, typically. So you need a way to, to, to manage that life cycle, which is called the revocation. And a credential has key material, key material for the issuer, because you want to you wanna, um, know whether the credential is authentic. And um, in most situations, if it is uh, about a natural person, you also want to make sure that only the legitimate holder can present the credential, which is typically done using key binding. And David um, spoke about that that, for example, those keys um, should go in a hardware uh, module so you can't, you can't exfiltrate them. And on top of that, there is trust management, meaning if, you, if you're able to authenticate a, a certain credential, um, how do you determine as a verifier, for example, whether you can trust that issue for that kind of credential? So a lot of different things. And you see on the right-hand side how many options uh, we have collected so far, and if you if you combine all of, them, all of them, it's three million combinations. So, yeah, it's an emerging space. What we did is we put all this in a matrix that people can use as a tool. And I'm gonna, gonna show you uh, the matrix uh, in a second. So you can, you can take a look on what existing profiles are there. For example, ISO 18013-5, um, for example, um, or, or the Anoncrats profile is being used by Hyperledger. And you can see what the, what the capabilities and the properties of those, of those are and can combine them. And what we, for example, figured out in, 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 in one of the research projects we, we, we do in Germany, it's called ID Union. We were looking for a successor of, of the Anoncrats that we had used before. We were looking specifically for a credential format that is um, 
privacy preserving, but also has hardware backed security. And using this metrics, we were able to figure out that there are two um, capabilities that today um, exclude each other, which is unlinkability, CKP, and hardware backed security. And that made the selection process much easier, right? So that's why, for example, we don't use GSNLD and BBS and also not Anoncred because they are not hardware backed. But we went with SDJ, for example, in that case. But MDoc would ha also be, have been a solution. Yeah, I think I just show it to you. Just give me a second. So that's actually the matrix. Uh, I think I already filtered. No, I did not. So, so you can see there are, we have a couple of different pre-existing uh, configurations, how people use stuff. So for example, ISO MDL uses MDoc. ECDSA as a, uh, a signing algorithm. It does not use a revocation mechanism per day per se, but medium term expiration. Um, the public key of the issuer is maintained in an X509 certificate, and the holder key is managed as a COSE key. And there is a, a special kind of list that lists all the authorities that can issue MDOCs. And if you scroll to the right hand side, you can see, for example, information about. Um, who has implemented uh, this, this particular profile, um, what technology it is based on, and the security can be found. Here's all the unlinkability uh, support. And I'm looking for the hardware backing. Where is it? Ah, yeah, the hardware support. So you see, ISO, for example, is able to support hardware security, right? Um, and if you don't find your particular um, <coughs> profile, you can use the configurator and pick and choose your credential format and your revocation mechanism and so on. It's all, all nicely being shown then. And what's underlaying that is um, the different dimensions. As I said, we have a couple of different credential formats, as far as I remember, 17 of them. Um, where you can see all the different details. Where is the specification being hosted? What's the kind of process here? What's the IPR related to it? And so on, and so on, and so on. You also can see there are a lot of question marks. And that's the ask that we have for the community. We need, we need contributors that help us to really um, keep the information up to date because that, that stuff is evolving at light speed. Right? So what you have collected now is really outdated in two weeks from now because the competition is hard between those different standards which fosters innovation. I absolutely like that and the transparency that we have with the metrics even more fosters, fosters this kind of innovation. Okay. Yeah. We are working on, on, on uh, yeah, extending the data set uh, making sure we are up to date with, with the data that we have in the metrics. And in the end, what we want to do is we want to provide a tool to the community, to implementers uh, of all kind, so they can meet a decision really on a, on a rational basis and not just on feeling, right? And that worked well so far for those that used it. Any questions on that? Okay?